Hello artists. In today's mini lesson for the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, we're going to create a picture of wild strawberries. Here's what we need. We'll need a piece of black paper that is turned vertically, meaning it's going up and down. We will need a white crayon, oops, a red crayon, a yellow crayon, and a green crayon. Let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is use my white crayon to write my name on the back of my black paper. Once my name is on the back, I'm going to turn the paper over to the clean side. I'm going to do all of my drawing with white. And at the very end, I'll add the other three colors on top. This will let my red, yellow, and green colors really show and shine on this dark black paper. The first thing that I'm going to draw is one long curved line. It looks like this. Once I've drawn my long curved line, I'm going to add some other curved lines coming away from this one line that I've drawn. I'll draw a curved line coming this way. I'll draw a curved line going that way. Now, I'm going to draw a leaf. The leaf of a wild strawberry is curved like this. I'm going to start it here at the top and curve until I touch the edge. Curve until I touch the other edge. I'm going to color this leaf white. I'm not going to keep it white. In a moment, I'll color it green, but by using white crayon now, it will make the green crayon really stand out on the dark paper. Next, I'm going to draw one of the flowers that we see on the wild strawberry. The wild, wild strawberry flowers have white petals, five of them, and a yellow center. Let's draw a circle at the end of this line. In a moment, this will be the center of my flower. I'm going to draw five more circles that are a little bit larger. Watch how I do it. I'll put one larger circle at the top, another one right beside of it, and another, and another, I need five, one more. If you have to squeeze in that petal, it's okay. Now I'm going to color all of the circles white. I don't have to press down hard for the white to show up. I'm going to draw another wild strawberry flower up at the top. A small circle for the center and five larger circles going around it. One, two, three, four, five. When you have five circles around the middle, Go ahead and color those white as well. Now, 
we need a few strawberries. The wild strawberries look like this. I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to add an oval at the end and color it. I'll do it again. I'll put one over on this side. I'll draw a line and I'll hang an oval at the end of it. Color it white. Okay, now I'm finished with my white crayon. I can put that to the side. The first crayon that I'm going to need is that's colorful is my green. I'm going to trace over the long stem the first line that I drew, and look, I can really see the green crayon showing. Any long stem that I see, I'm going to color it green. I'm also going to color the leaf green. Notice how my green crayon really shows up even on the black paper because I have white underneath it. The next color is red. The two little ovals are the wild strawberries. They don't really look like the strawberries that we see in the grocery store. They're much smaller. But black bears in the Great Smoky Mountains love to eat them. And finally, I'm going to take my yellow crayon and the very center circle of the flowers, I'm going to color yellow. For a little extra, I'm going to take my green crayon and put a little bit of squiggle at the top of my wild strawberry. I can use the white crayon to show the little seeds. And there you have it, wild strawberries.